this video, I've been wanting to film this video for about three weeks now. I feel like it's a popular video going around at the moment and yeah, I'm just really excited to film it. So obviously by the title of the video you can tell what exactly this is about, but I did the Chloe Ting's uh, 25 day hourglass challenge. So I thought I would film a video about my before and after, what I went through, everything to do with that. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be a fun video. So so yeah, if you guys do like this and you want me to do more challenges maybe, give this a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram because I do post there more regularly about like health, fashion, fitness, all that jam. So yeah, if you're interested in that, then go follow me. But yeah, let's just jump into the video. So I'll start off with why I chose to do this challenge, I guess. So if you guys don't know, I live in Melbourne, Australia, and we're still in stage four lockdown because of COVID. Um, so we don't have any gyms open, like nothing's really open. So I wanted to do something at home, like a at home workout fitness kind of thing. And yeah, I found Chloe Ting's videos. It I've heard like a couple of people talking about her, so I wanted to give them a try. Um, I went onto like her website and I was looking through like all the different like free at home workouts that she had. And this one just kind of appealed to me the most. Um, so I'll put in a before shot here for you guys of what I looked like. And basically I have been on a weight loss journey, so I've lost about 10 kilos of weight. and. I more just want to start like toning up my body. As you can see, I do have quite wide hips for girls who have PCOS. It's very common to hold a lot of your weight in like the midsection, so like your lower belly and your waist. So I wanted to focus mainly on my waist, hips and stomach. So I thought this challenge was probably the best because it targeted all of those areas. Um, and who doesn't want to like get abs, seriously. Yeah, so I decided to do that challenge just because it felt like it was the best for my body and like what I wanted to target, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, obviously I did the 25 days. Most of the workouts were not actually that bad. Like I found that I did them more in the mornings. I have a lot more energy in the mornings as opposed to at night. And I felt like it actually like woke me up for the mornings. So I did them mostly in the mornings, but I feel like they weren't actually that bad. Like the first probably, like I would say probably the first three days I struggled <laughs> more because of like my energy levels and I just wasn't used to working out. Like I hadn't been to the gym in about three months, I would say. For me to go back to working out, my body was just like, nah, like <laughs> it was just, it was out of the question. My body just was not happy, but I did it anyways. And after about three days, I got used to it and I actually started to enjoy working out. I just felt like I was just so much more like energetic, happy. Like I could start seeing results after about seven days, which is crazy. Um, so obviously, yeah, before I was very, I feel like I'm not really like out of shape, but I just wanted to tone up because I, I've never been able to like have abs or anything like that. And my abs started coming through. I'll put some videos in here of you, like me doing the workouts, if you guys want to see what the workouts are like. Yeah, so most of the time I didn't feel my workouts just because I was doing them in the mornings and I honestly could not be bothered setting up a camera and all that kind of stuff. So... I'll insert like a few clips and to be honest like I more watch these videos for like the before and after like does anyone else do that? <laughs>
yeah, obviously, like, it was hard. Um, some of the exercises, like, I could not, like, do for, like, the 30 seconds or whatever. Um, they were just so hard. But, like, I did feel like after I'd finished, um, the workout challenge, like, I was a lot stronger. A lot of the exercises I could properly do now. I'm actually really happy that I did it and I will probably keep doing it, actually. Like, some of the workouts I actually really enjoy now and I think that they do a lot for my body so I'm actually gonna try and do that. Um, the two workouts I really enjoyed was the tiny waist one and the hip dips one. I think they were my favorites and I felt like they actually did a lot for my body so I think I might actually continue to do those because they're actually really good. And like I love Chloe Ting's videos because she's just so like motivating you know like she gets you in there. Alright so now for probably the reason we're all watching this video. How I look before and after whether I've lost weight changed anything, all that good stuff. So obviously beforehand I was, I guess like standard, I didn't really have like any real like proper muscle definition. I was just, yeah, I looked pretty standard I guess, <laughs> I don't really know. So my measurements for before I started the challenge, my hips were 89 centimeters and my waist was 75 centimeters, which I feel like is pretty like standard. I don't know, like I... Yeah, obviously wanted to work on these areas just because I was not very happy with it. But now for the after shot. <laughs> you can definitely see some more like ab definition. I definitely feel like my abs have gotten so much stronger and more defined. Like I'm actually so happy with that because I actually, I don't know, I really wanted abs. But also I did take my measurements afterwards and my hips are now 85 centimeters and my waist is now 71 centimeters. So they have both gone down for centimeters like that is that is crazy like isn't that crazy i do feel like also my bum has gotten a lot more like plump <laughs> i guess if that's the word um i feel like my butt like got lifted like it actually looks a bit nicer yeah but like i will show you a photo of my abs from the side like there is so much more ab definition it is ridiculous i am actually super happy with this challenge i feel like it was actually so good especially if you're at home and you can't go to the gym or anything i will say i have some tips for you guys my first tip is to always keep your muscles like engaged that is like a massive massive tip that i can recommend you the first few days i was not doing that like i was just doing the exercises because i was like tired and I was like oh my gosh like I can't get through these exercises but once I actually got used to the exercises and engaged all of my muscles like my glutes my abs all that kind of stuff I felt like it actually did so much more to my body and I could actually feel it working so much more so I would definitely say engage your muscles your core muscles your glutes all that kind of stuff second tip Find out when it's better for you to work out. Whether you like mornings, daytime, nighttime, evenings, you do you. Like, <laughs> I feel like you need to find the time where you have the most energy, you can get through it. My third tip is to stay motivated. I know that, like, it's really hard sometimes, especially in lockdown, to stay motivated, but you can see the real results. Like, these are real results that I had, and this could be you. Even if you are hating it even if you're like not bothered about it just stay motivated like it is so worth it i'm definitely gonna try another one like i feel like i'm gonna try another challenge after this one i don't know which one yet so if you guys recommend any leave them below and i can definitely do those but i really want to do another one whether it's chloe ting or another youtube fitness girl yeah i'm gonna find one to do and i'll probably do another video like this um, after that one, like a completion one. Hopefully this video was exciting and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll be sure to do another one for you guys. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe as well and follow my Instagram for more fitness 